Hi, and welcome to the video. In the last video, right at the end, you noted I got the T88 glue. Uh, in this video, we start making a little bit more use of it. Not as much use as I'd like, because I'm always wanting to do more. But having said that, we've got some things accomplished. So, in this video, I'll show you what I got up to. Hi, and welcome to the channel. In these videos, I show my build of a Fisher Youngster biplane kit. And it's not meant to be instructional, but it's meant for you to have a bit of entertainment seeing how I go about building this aircraft and hopefully get a few hints and tips that might help you out to build your own aircraft. Let's face it, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so uh, almost to build the rest of the spar up. So I'm just uh, going to uh, lay my resin on, same way as I did the other capping strip, but this time I'm going to be putting in bits in between as well. So this will be very much the basic spar. Uh, I'd say half the spar half built really, uh, maybe slightly less but the majority of the wood gone in so going to do a bit of time lapse from here So the YW7 blocks which I inserted here and at the other end just slightly thicker than the spar caps so I need to bring it down so that when the ply goes on top of the gussets down this end here goes on top it's sitting level with the bits around so the, the, the gussets actually doing some work thick layer of glue isn't going to be good so I need to sand it down you can sort of see I've sanded it down uh, and the way I did that, there was no, you know, there's no height on here. This, this is, this is the height which I'm trying to get it down to. So I don't want to be sanding there. So I don't want any chance of my block doing that. So I made up a block that's a width and can run in the the, the, the runners here for the jig for the spar. And on the other side, I put abrasive material between. But of course, if you just put the abrasive material between. It would sand deeper than uh, the, the capping strip, so I've used tailrotor blade tape, out of date tailrotor blade tape, uh, as a running material. I've put several layers on here to build it up to the same thickness as my sanding material, and that way I can just run the guide backwards and forwards, nice and easy. Now. This is now moving. I did make a mistake early on when I bonded this end together. I didn't put any tape here, so it did try to glue itself down at that one spot, but thankfully 
it wasn't major I could just sand that down and I'll remember now next time put some tape on it so this bar is just about ready for me to uh, put the little plates on here um, the gussets uh, before I do that I will uh, wire brush with a, a stainless steel fine stainless steel brush to make sure that the grain is clear of the sanding dust and I'll blow the whole thing off with a compressed air system uh, and then I'll give it another quick go with a wire brush and give it another blow I'll do that a couple of times just to make sure that the grain isn't clogged with the uh, this lovely sawdust so I've just glued in these, uh, the sort of stiffener section here for the spar uh, tip area so it doesn't wobble all over the place so that's done uh, nice and straightforward I haven't cut the holes here yet and sorted out the edges or sanded it uh, on the ground so it's, uh, I've been building up the other spar exactly the same way so so this week we've got a fair bit done I laminated up a wingtip bow we got the starboard lower forward spar I would say three quarters built uh, one could argue that it's 90% of the woodwork done on it but there's some more uh, work need to be done I've got to route out these holes which I'm going to do when the other one is sorted out got to drill uh, so put some plywood on both sides uh, to step up for the metal work drill holes and put bushings in there and similar sort of factor here bushings for the metal work there so that's one spar done oh we've got some ribs uh, I've got uh, I've made up a total of six uh, ribs full ribs and six nose ribs so I've got three top ribs here three top uh, half ribs three lower ribs and three lower half ribs uh, almost enough to make one wing if uh, all the ribs are identical there's very very little difference between in point of fact I think most people were quite happy to exchange the two from top to bottom but me being me I haven't and then in addition to the starboard wing a spar I've got the port wing spar well half done I suppose really uh, it still needs to have some sanding to get rid of the uh, squeeze out over the top which I wasn't too worried about because I'm going to be uh, sending that back anyway for the ply gussets and for my ply box bit here once that's done and the uh, tip stifters are put in we will be laughing uh, learnt from the last one so I've got a piece of wax paper there so that I don't glue it down to the bench so what's planned for the next video well, we'll finish off these spars. I'll show you uh, how I do with the bushings going in. That's probably going to be the most complex bit. Uh, laminating of, of the bow. Uh, I'm going to make up three more wingtip bows. So I'll probably be laminating at least one of those. Uh, and hopefully we'll make a start on uh, the upper wing spars. I don't know how much detail I'll go into on that because it's not going to be that much different probably from the lower ones but I will show you the differences there for sure uh, future videos I'm planning on showing you how I go around the uh, wing rib construction so we've got lots to do got glue to do it so let's crack on thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up you can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.